What's up everybody, Mike Lazarecki here, and uh, I know I haven't been on YouTube much lately. Uh, I've been kind of busy. I bought a house, had a new baby. Uh, it's been a really busy year for us, so I hope you can forgive me, but uh, we're going to get rolling with some new content here. And to kick this all off, I have a, kind of a fun thing that I don't usually do, but we're going to do an unboxing and uh, kind of a first impressions video. And I think this is gonna be followed up by a series of videos that are about the topic or the uh, object that I'm about to show you guys. So without any further ado, I am going to unbox this. A box. What we have here is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. Yes, I have one in my grasp right now. So let's open this baby up and see what we've got. That's right, look at that. So we've got a little thank you for the B&H. So here we have uh, our friendly little Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. So we're gonna go over this bad boy real quick and have a look inside the box. So first things first, it comes wrapped in this plastic. I don't know how I managed it to, to luck out and get this camera uh, right when it was first released, but I feel pretty lucky that I did. It, uh, it's not every day that I get that lucky. So I'm gonna crack this guy open. Sorry, the table's a little bit rattly. This was a kind of a last minute idea to shoot this video. So here we go. All right. All right, so what do we got here? We have, welcome. So that's kind of a nice little leaflet. Blackmagic's got some of the nicest design to their packaging and, you know, I mean, it, this is a professional tool and usually professional tools just come in a brown cardboard box like what came from B&H. This is kind of nice because they really put the effort into the presentation. So let's see if the camera itself lives up to the hype. So comes with uh, DaVinci Resolve 15 Studio, which is a really sweet thing because that's usually like a $300 software. So there we go. Comes with the activation card and the SD card. Uh, looks like a charger cable. So got that. Uh, one of the LPE6 batteries. So this is a, it appears to be an off-brand. I didn't expect it to be a Canon necessarily, but that's great, I've got some extra ones of those, so that'll be pretty handy. I imagine these are my plugs. Yeah, so that's the, so travel kit. That's kind of nice. If you're uh, traveling out of the country, you, can, you have these extra plug adapters, so that's cool. A nice strap, which actually, that's a really nice quality strap. Seems like anyway. Not leather or anything, but it's a really nice, thick strap, so that's cool. I don't know how much I'll actually use it, but. And now, now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. There it is. Check that out. Wow. Dang, that is nice looking. Wow, look at that. Hmm. Very nice. Wow, that is really cool. So, there she is. Check that out. That is nice. So, uh, any of you that actually know me personally, you will know that I, at one time, had the Blackmagic production camera 4K. And um, I loved the image that I got out of it, aside from some sensor issues that they had back then. Whenever you'd point the camera at a bright light, the sensor had trouble dealing with bright lights, so you'd get this black hole wherever you actually found the hottest spot in the image. So I know that's not an issue for them anymore, but the main reason I decided to get rid of that camera a few years ago was that it was an ergonomic nightmare. And I know now that that was partially because it was designed to be a cinema camera, not a run and gun camera. And when I saw the Pocket Cinema 4K come out, I really liked what it appeared to have more ergonomics. And uh, so when they announced this camera, I jumped on it right away because I knew that this was a game changer for me. 
This was a camera that I feel like it, if it lives up to the hype, it could be future-proof for at least five years for my uses. And um, I love the image off of Blackmagic already, and I know it's improved quite a bit from the last camera that I had of theirs. So I'm really excited to dig in to this camera. So, and I gotta say, the ergonomics are not disappointing this time. This camera, and I haven't gotten the chance to play around with the, uh, the Pocket Cinema Camera 4K at all. So this is my first experience with one of the new versions of the Pocket Camera. And I gotta tell you, first off, I am not sure I own any clothes or jackets where I could actually fit this in a pocket. So they might wanna consider the new naming convention to be um, Blackmagic Cinema Camera small or something like that but aside from that this thing is super nice the ergonomic feels great in the hand it's not anywhere near as heavy as i expected it to be which although it feels lighter weight it does not feel cheap uh at least from my first impressions um we'll go ahead and peel this guy off of here so it's got that nice big screen on it and uh, let's see, see if we can get, see if there's any juice in this battery that came with it. I, I literally just opened this in front of you, so I haven't had a chance to pre-charge any batteries or anything. So let's see, let's turn it on, see if it does any, anything. Yeah, it looks like it's got a little bit of juice. So we have, yeah, look at that. So yeah, things have definitely changed quite a bit from the last version of a Blackmagic camera that I had. Um, it's definitely a different beast. So it's gonna take a little time for me to get used to it. I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and film some B-roll of the camera and then I'll film some B-roll with the camera and I'll tie it in right now. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that B-roll. At this point, I'm going to get going on getting used to this camera. I'm gonna dig into the menus and get myself reacquainted with the Blackmagic system. I think we're gonna build out at least two or three videos kind of in a series of, uh, you know, an overview of not only the hardware, but the software, the operating system. And then I may also touch on the DaVinci Resolve Studio that comes with it. So if you haven't already, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Keep an eye out for that series of videos and uh, keep checking back. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. So have a great one and uh, yeah, peace.